A very warm welcome to the learning home. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to add header and footer in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. So when the idea of adding header and footer comes in our mind, the most important tool which catches our attention is Microsoft Word. And because it has a great flexibility to add any kind of header and footer, try to manage and try to play around with the option. But if you are working in Acrobat or if you have Acrobat in your system installed and uh, your document is in PDF, the one option is that either you convert to Microsoft Word option and then bring it to Microsoft Word and then edit the header and footer or add header and footer. But if you have Acrobat, you don't have to convert it to Word, rather you can convert add head and footer while working in the PDF as well. So let's see how we can do it. So uh, first thing first, the tool is here. And in order to bring the tool, what you have to do, you have to go to the Tools tab and press Edit PDF and you will see the head and footer option is here. There is another option to bring it. You have to go to the Edit tab, go to Edit text and images and you will see the option is here. So now I'm going to add head and footer. And prior to that, there is two options to add head and footer. First option is to add head and footer when the document is open. And second option is that when document is not open and you can set the head and footer and just apply on multiple files in one go. Let's uh, uh, add head and footer. I'm going to add it first and they will see that the dialog box has appeared here. Here I'm going to add some kind of header and footer. So here I have added uh, header and footer here. So you can start with the changing the font type, size and color. So in order to change the font type, you can just select from here and you can see it is, you can see the preview over here. You can change the size you can change the color as well. So you can see I can manage to change everything. Second option is to how to change the margin. And in order to change the margin, you have to go to this option. And you can change the margin from top. You can see there is a movement here. And you can move as per your choice. You can see change from bottom, left, right. So just you have to press this small arrow icon and it will it will start working. Here is the option you can edit if you have to edit something like uh, suppose I have to change like this just I will go there and amend the texts. Uh, you can also change insert the page number and ins inserting the page number like uh, suppose I'm going here page number and I'm going to insert a page number here and you will see the preview is here one page number if you want to add some kind of a special characters like hyphen or n dash or m dash, you can put over there and you can see I have added hyphen. You can see those uh, special characters are here. You can also put date here. You can put date at any places, but I'm just choosing here. So I'm going to insert date here. You can see the date is here. You can also put date and page in combination, like suppose. If you want to insert a page number here, you can insert page number here as well. So you can see date and page number. You can also change the page number and date format. And for that, you have to press this option, page number and date format. And the first option is a date format. If you want to change from month and day to month, day, year, year. So I'm going to change month, day, year, year. And you can change the page, page format like uh, page 1 or page 1 of uh, n, means total number of pages. So I'm fine with that one. I'm going to press OK. Uh, here is another option is to start from which page number. You can start from page number 1, 2. Here we have two pages. So you can start from two page number. You have to define the page from where you want to start. I'm going to press OK. And uh, it is more or less set here. Uh, you can also choose the page range option, which you can choose. You want the header and footer to be on all pages, or you can select from page number one to certain number of pages, or you can select pages on the even pages or odd pages. 
so it gives you another option to how to place the head and footer in whole document so i'm fine with this option and i'm going to press ok another option is the appearance option which we sometimes will face a problem like uh, text and over uh, head and footer are basically overwriting each other so you can select an option called shrink document so it will adjust automatically to make it a little bit more uh, better second option is that uh, you can keep the head and footer fixed at its original place but at this point of time i don't need it for me it's perfectly fine so i'm just pressing ok and moving ahead you can also save this head and footer for the future use. So what we can do is just press save settings. And when we press save settings, we can name it like uh, header one. And then if you want to use it, you can use it in the future. You can also apply this head and footer option to the multiple files. Just you have to apply, press multiple files, apply to multiple files and drop those files here. At this point, this point of time, I'm not going to do that one. I'm going to press OK and you will see the preview is here. Not preview, you can see the actual view. You can see the page number and we have added page number, date and page number. Now we'll move to the situation when our document is not open. So I'm going to close it. No. And then I'm going to go to the tools and edit PDF and I'm going to add header and footer. So it is asking me to what, which are the files you want to apply. I'm going to select this file, which I have not used earlier. I'm going to press OK. And either you can enter those own value once again, or you can apply the header which we have applied earlier. So you can see the same thing here. You can change if you want to make changes. You can press OK. Now it will give you ask you another option that you want to. First option is that the same folder. Uh, if you want to save the the amended file in the same folder, or if you want to save it in different locations. So suppose I keep it same. You don't ask me anything. But if I ask select folder on my computer. It will ask me to define where you want to save so for me it is fine to save file location it is also asking to guide uh, the tools on the file naming so keep original files name and keep or is keep or add to the original file name so if you want to add some text before and after the file name you have to tell the software that you have to add some kind of text i don't want anything so i'm just pressing ok after this and you will see the header and footer is already here. Now we will talk about how to update existing header and footer. And for that one, what we can do, we can go to the update option here from the same option. And you can select, you can change those values like uh, font type, size, as per your preference, and uh, whatever you want to change, you can change it here. And then just press OK, it will change. It will also again you will see that because since you have made a changes it is giving you option to again save the settings so if you want to change you can change the setting to header 2 and then you have a two saved uh, head and footer uh, option I'm going to press OK here if you want to remove it what you have to do you have to go to the remove option it will ask you whether you want to permanently remove the head and footer of information Press yes and click go away. If you want to bring it back once again, and if you want to select header one or header two, let's see, you put header two, press OK, it will back again. So uh, that is all for this discussion and I hope it has given you an idea about how to add header and footer in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC.